in about 60 seconds. about 30 seconds. Corey Draper here. Hey everyone on Facebook and on the Zoom, the Zoom highway. Yes, I did kind of shave, just a little bit. I forgot to cut my hair though. All right, we're gonna go live. This video, I know you guys want me to talk a little bit about digital income system, so we're gonna do it. All right, get a pen and paper. I record this video too, so if you need to just watch it back, go ahead and do that. Um, if you guys like coffee, cheers. If you guys are drinking or doing tequila or maybe just drinking milk, how are you? All right, let's have some fun. What's going on, Europe? What's going on, Asia? I mean all the countries over there. Asia's a big ass place. So is Europe and so is North America, so. How about I be in Utah and you guys just be in your neck of the woods and we're going to have some fun tonight. Okay. Cause it's nighttime where I'm at. What time is it? You know, if you guys are in the chat room on Facebook, I've got my stream live on all my sources here on social media. But yeah. If you're watching on Facebook, you know, just check it out. You can kind of see the, the little uh, shindigs that I do here when it comes to my online business. Uh, if you're already, affiliated with digital income system you guys know what a great system it is what we do is we just help people market a business I like to use a pizza shop or a subway or something like that but if you need online marketing or advertising why not learn how to do it for free and if you have a couple extra bucks that's always cool but I still think if you own your own business I think you should really learn how to market online because it's really not that hard and if you are old school i think it's almost better because you don't have a lot of bad habits or you're set in your ways like the yellow book the postcard because obviously there is advertising where you drive on the freeway you have billboards and of course you can get magazines in the mail but if you've noticed you know the yellow pages and the white pages getting that big fat juicy book at your doorstep once a year that's kind of a dying breed and if you've noticed almost every probably all your favorite magazines they're all gone aren't they it's kind of a bummer it's like it was kind of fun to get magazines in the mail but now everything's online when it comes to news even newspapers are going under because by the time you get your newspaper it's already live on the internet and it's all fresh within probably one minute after something happens where a newspaper is printed the night before and a kid on a bike throws it on your driveway. And if you don't get home until nighttime, your news is already almost 24 hours old. So, and I'm a big fan of old school advertising and it still works. That's the beauty of it. So if you're setting your ways on advertising, that's kind of, that's awesome. You've already got that mental, you know, agreement with yourself that you can still do postcards. If you do have money, you can do a banner on the bill on the side of the freeway. It just depends how much cash you have. Advertising is always going to be legalized gambling. You can advertise a million dollars and that doesn't mean jack squat. If you don't have something interesting or desirable, either information or a service, you might cut trees, you might cut lawn. It's pretty darn important in the summertime, but you guys know if you have a lawn mowing, a lawn mower business in the wintertime where I live, Right now, you don't even really need it because the grass doesn't even grow anymore. It's fall. There's going to be a lot of winter until, you know, roughly about April, really. So we got another five, six months where the grass doesn't really even grow. So mow your grass right now once 
one more time and it stays that, <laughs> you know, that, that height um, for a long time. So, but you guys know the gist. If you have a seasonal business, ski resorts are going to be open. Roughly they try here in Salt Lake City by December. Their goal is like by Thanksgiving, but the snow sucks. So if you are coming to Salt Lake City or Utah to go skiing, don't come until January. Let, let December fill up with that badass snow. And if you have to come for Christmas, that's awesome. You know, come on. Uh, the ski resorts are open by then, but the snow is not that badass. But with today's technology, they can blow fake snow. It's amazing how effective those machines have come over the last 30 years. Because 30 years ago, it was kind of cheesy. And now, I can't believe the technology up there. They can make some badass snow, and it's still you know sunny outside and hot all right well anyway i'm gonna i'm just gonna show you what digital income system is all right i know it fairly well right now and a lot of people go well you know is it good is it bad or, or is it ugly you know how opinions are they're a little bit like buttholes everybody seems to have one you can be the nicest, sweetest guy like Mother Teresa or Gandhi, and someone will say what a butthole those two guys were. I know that when it comes to business online, when it comes to football teams, when it comes to Ford versus Chevy, Whopper versus Big Mac, there's always going to be haters out there, okay? And that's okay. I think we all hate. We all opinionate. We all do a lot of stuff that ends in eight, don't we? But it's okay. That's just It just means you have the freedom of speech. And I'll take that any day than a country where I have to kiss ass all day and I have to like keep my mouth shut on everything. I don't mind if anyone comes at my radio station, my appearance, or anything I do when it comes to either making money or a business. Because sometimes they might have a real negative thing that makes me think so that I can do background checking. Sometimes you've dated the wrong person. How many times have your best friend, male or female, Go, man, I heard something about that guy or that girl. I'll tell you what, she's dated just about everybody on the block. And you're like, no, no, just me. And then you go and do like a background check on Google or Facebook. And you know, you're like, oh my God, I really am the only one she hasn't dated in the last three months. Or that guy, what a, what a crazy man that was. You know, someone probably dated Charles Manson, Ted Bundy, John Wayne Gacy. Someone's all dated the wrong person. And sometimes, when bad advice comes to you or haters, I don't mind that because it makes me do more background checking to the best of my ability, or maybe I'll even go ahead and go to a higher level where you need to, you know, go to those background services that you have to pay 10, 20, 30 bucks online, or maybe sometimes you even have to call the cops. But when it comes to businesses, I do, we don't have to do that. Um, I do all the hard work. If I'm gonna join a business and do something, I'm going to make sure that I believe in it myself. I sure in the heck ain't going to go on my Facebook feeds and social media and get involved in something that is an absolute scam or horseshit and embarrass myself because I market everything under my real name. I'm a real person. I, everyone knows that I talk about my personal life, where I'm from, where I'm going, what I'm doing, because the more that you believe in me and I fail, I have success. I've had just some great things happen in my life and I've had catastrophic things happen in my life. And you know what? It just makes me want to do a better job of being as honest as I can when it comes to anybody that watches me either on Facebook. And everyone knows I like to screw up and have a good time. I think who doesn't? If you have some extra money, what's the first thing you do? You buy some clothes, you go on vacation, you buy that car that makes you feel better. You buy music that makes you feel better. You watch movies that take you away because it makes you feel better. So there's nothing wrong with that. If you got to drink beer, do it in moderation. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't do anything like that. Uh, life, I don't know why, but I've always been able to get myself out of a rut emotionally and get into a hyper fun, oh, let's go kick some ass, like your favorite team in football or, or you know, and, and girls out there as well, if you're into sports or just whatever makes you guys excited. Isn't that the best? I, I love it where you can just cheer and just scream for something. That's what makes life pretty darn fun. And if you make money, I think that is just the same as when you're in little league football or high school, or maybe you had college or pro sports. And I'm speaking more from a guy's perspective because I really love to play sports and you win. And it might be cheesy, just like you're at a church football field and you're just playing football with your friends and family. But when you win, you really do get that high that you might've got back 
when you're in grade school or high school and you won trophies and cheerleaders and you're, you're just having a big bonfire, you know, getting in trouble in high school because there's always that one guy that always has a kegger somewhere. I mean, then you guys always have a kegger. You guys are like 16 years old. There's always that one older brother of Chip or Bob whose brother is like 30, but he still likes to hang out with, you know, high schoolers and he probably should be in jail. But wasn't that fun? And for girls, I know it was a lot of fun for you girls too. It's just, it's so awesome just to feel good about having success or your kids graduating, or maybe you, wait, you, you lost weight or you got out of the hospital. But I, I, I still think you get those endorphins and that high when you start making money on your own. You can go to work and work nine to five. If you work 10 hours a day at 10 bucks an hour, you know you got yourselves about a hundred bucks coming in. You know the tax man's gonna take this much out. And if you save this over 12 months, you're gonna get, let's say 3,500 bucks back. And unfortunately, 3,500 bucks is about the credit card bill that you did on that Christmas. So you break even on whatever you're getting back. But sometimes our lives really are in a box and that's okay. There's a lot of comfort sometime in that. And if that's best for you, then by all means do it. But if you want to get kind of that, you know, a little bit of a high, like you just won something or maybe you won Powerball or whatever, I recommend trying to own your own business. If you fail, I swear, unless you lose your house and your car and your kids and everything, that can be you know, cat catastrophic. But if you have a little bit of money set aside, and I'm not talking a ton, you don't have to have a lot of money to make a lot of money. You can start free. You can start with a grand, two grand. There's a lot of businesses out there. But as long as you start, you've got to have the gazungas. This could be gazungas, ladies, or sometimes us guys, we have gazungas, I think. We have to check a lot. Sometimes us guys actually lose our gazungas, especially me when Bachelor and Bachelorette and Bachelor in Paradise come on. For some reason, I watch these chick shows. I question myself if I have gazongas on those nights. I even watch Dance with the Stars. How pathetic is that? But you know what? I like it. I do what I like to do, and you guys should too. But please, think about owning your own business, because number one, if you work out of your house, you have some nice legal write-offs to make your tax go from like, let's say 30 to 35% if you're just working nine to five, 10, 40 W, going to h and Block or Hewitt, what is it, Hewitt Jackson? Or I, I always get all those places messed up. But um, if you own your own business and you can afford it, even if you lose whatever investment, I still think you feel good about yourself that, it, that you at least tried, okay? You can go to LegalZoom.com, open up either an LLC, a C-Corp, which is great if you're going to sell worldwide, or an S-Corp where it's kind of nice. You don't have to have all these board of directors and your mom and your dad and your pig and your doggy and your hamster. And you have to have this big corporate superstructure of vice president, COO, COO, O, O, O. You have friends that can't wait to say, I'm the CEO of uh, Toilet Paper and Corp. And you're like, what the hell's that? Oh, it's my own business. Oh, you're the CEO? You're the president? They can't wait to go to Vista what is it, Vistaprint, and get those business cards that say, I'm the president. I am the CEO. Where's your office at? Oh, well, it's in my extra bedroom. <laughs> but sometimes you just can't wait to say you own your own business and you are so dang big and awesome and you even have those $12 Vistaprint credit or business cards to prove it. And you know what? If that makes you feel good, then do it. If you like pizza, then eat it. And if you get a little fat, then wean out back on it. But I, I by all means, believe in at least trying to own your own business because I really think that even if you fail, at least you tried, you're gonna feel good about yourself. And who gives two shits about what people say, even if you do fail in anything, honestly. Uh, care about maybe your wife or what your kids think. And, and, and But other than that, I've failed at so much stuff. And you know what, how much it really affects me right now as I sit here? Nothing, I just don't give a crap. It doesn't matter. So if you have a couple bucks, and you want to open up your own business, I'm just going to show you a way that I think is just affordable. It can make you a lot of money. There's proof of that. And it's not cheesy. We're not talking MLM. I'm not into that. MLM kicks ass, Avon, Home Interior, New Skin, Amway. I mean, my God, billions are made doing MLM or MLM. I almost said LMM. If that's for you, great, do it. I don't like it. So I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not a shampoo and conditioner guy, although I should be with my fried hair. But 
I just don't want to sell shampoo or conditioners. I don't want to do vitamins. I would rather just get a good deal on vitamins. Uh, if someone is in an MLM and, you know, for 10 or 20 bucks, I, I might buy vitamins from a friend and I know it's MLM and they might make a dollar fifty off that sell. Uh, but if I do something, I, I really don't want to, I don't want to try hard unless I make about 500 bucks or more on whatever I do. And that's a comfortable amount because 500 bucks can pay all of your rent, half your rent, one third your rent, maybe one fourth of your rent. Tons of people pay a thousand bucks a month. Tons of people pay 2000 bucks a month for rent. So I, I like that as a realistic mid-level all American mortgage for a lot of people that just have like a nice home and family. But 2000 bucks a month is a very, man, that's popular as hell to have that amount that you have to earn every 30 days to give to a bank or your uncle that bought you the house or maybe a credit union. But uh, I like to break down my bills each month. So I know how much I need to make just to break even every day. If I say every month is 30 days, I know one is 28, sometimes 29. I know some are 31, but I think most of us think like a month is 30 days. So if you have bills that are 3000, you know, let's say your mortgage is 1200 and you got about 1800 bucks of fuel and cell phone and basic food, maybe a movie once in a while, but a lot of people need about 3000 a month uh, just to have a nice, comfortable, safe life in America. It's not extravagant by any means, but in your mind, if you need 3000 bucks in your mind, you're like, I need about a hundred bucks a day. Can I make a hundred bucks a day? Because it's just as easy to make a hundred a day as it is 500. It really is. You just have to have a better, more valuable, either product or service in, in the opinion of who has cash or credit cards, because it's up to them if they wanna buy something that's either five bucks or a hundred bucks or 500. I have friends that are millionaires that they won't spend a dime. They're just, they've come from a background of absolute fear. They were very poor. Even though they're wealthy, it takes them sometimes five to 10 years because you've heard this before, that ugly girl is now like a supermodel, but she still feels ugly. It goes the same, I believe, where people that start just from a nice high school background and they're lucky enough to attain, let's say, $1 million, $2 million, or maybe they make five, ten, twenty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a month. I have plenty of friends that make all food groups in that level. But sometimes it takes five to 10 years to get them out of that mentality that, God, I, I just, I'm conditioned that the whole world makes like 20 bucks an hour, nine to five, lunch for an hour, takes me 30 minutes to go to work. 40 minutes to get home from work, you get in that box. And I'm not saying that's bad. It's just, we do it. I've done it a thousand times, but right when I think I'm in a rut or I can't make any more money because I come up with excuses, I'm too old, I'm kind of dated. I might be lazy, but I'm not. Um, I look across the street and then someone buys a $70,000 SUV. Then I drive around town and go up in the mountains. I live uh, at the bottom of a beautiful mountain. And there is absolutely, I would say no fewer than 600 homes on the east bench of Utah that are over a million. $600 million of just basic random homes. And there's way more than that. I'm just being realistic. So you gotta ask yourself, God, well, if those guys work nine to five, they made 20 bucks an hour, how the hell did they, oh, okay. I know, they married the lady that's the, the heir of Walmart, Sam Walton's daughter. Oh yeah, she, she's affiliated with the Kentucky Fried Chicken Colonel's daughter's son. And we all come up with all these things on how they probably got their money or, oh, they won Powerball or, oh, they're trust fund babies. Sure, that, that is true. But in my experience, and that's all, that's all I really kind of go off now, because I used to always get all this advice. I'd watch TV lifestyles of the rich and famous, or I'd listen to friends that said, oh yeah, that girl's this, or that guy's that, or don't go out with him. He's got tattoos and long hair. Boy, we all know about him. Or don't go out with her. It's the same thing when it comes down to like, well, how did that guy get a couple million bucks? Well, he's got tattoos and long hair. He's probably sells weed to everybody. He's probably with El Chapo at the border, you know, shipping it, you know, to Utah but we all hear stories and we all get caught up in stuff. And then we know it's all bull crap, but it's just kind of fun to bad mouth and gossip. But at the end of the day, if you're still stuck at like, let's make, let's just say 20 bucks an hour, 
five to 10 hours a day. You get paid every two weeks. Taxes are taken out. Another year goes by. You get a raise to $21 an hour, 22. It's very rare to get a job where you get like a five to $10 an hour raise just because it turned 12 months later since you were hired. Sure, there are jobs like that, but most of my friends that have told me about their wage increase, it's only, sometimes at Walmart, I think you start out at like, what, at like 10 or 12, and then maybe you can get as high as 15. So maybe after a year or two, you can you know, make $3 an hour more. And that's awesome. If it breaks you even, and that's a comfortable living, then good. But I think most of us know that if you work nine to five and you don't specialize in like being a, a, a just a badass attorney, a surgeon, a pharmaceutical this, or maybe an investment guy that, um, just a good American and or Europe or Asian person that works just a good hard day's work, which in America, I would say that most of us work about eight to 10 hours. Sometimes we loaf all day and we only really work hard about six, but just an average American bloke. I know bloke is probably, isn't that over in Australia? Someone called me a bloke the other day. I think they're from, from New Zealand, but, but if you're just an average bro bloke, we've conditioned ourselves that if we work nine to five, Monday through Friday, it comes to 40 to 50 hours a day. So then you get your calculator out and you go, okay, this is all I'm gonna probably make. And if I stick in the same job arena, most of us do. We don't grow up to work at Walmart receiving, <clears throat> open a landscape business. And after that fails, we become a gynecologist. I mean, you know what I mean? You kind of do what you know. And there's comfort in that and there's stability in that. And it's just smart. If you're a mechanic and you, grow, you go into car sales, or if you're into car sales or like a truck driver, I can drive badass semi trucks. But if I'm a mechanic too, sometimes you just get tired of driving. You'd rather just take your truck and have someone else drive it for you. And then you become a mechanic and work on. But I think you guys know, I'm just talking about the box. Just picture a good old box over my big fat head here. If you're kind of stuck in that and, and you prefer that, or somehow you have just talked your whole life about, I want to try something, but I know it's going to fail. I heard Bob across the street went in that and it didn't work. And I heard that Cindy did this and it was kind of like, uh, kind of like the pet rock. It's a fad. It's hot for like a year and then it just goes away. But in the meantime, your neighbor just bought an Escalade. The neighbor four houses down, you never met, just bought a badass boat. Man, what did he do? Did he, did his parents die and he, uh, got a trust fund or an inheritance sometimes, but maybe that guy opened up his own business uh, in his spare bedroom. You know, maybe his kid went to college, they had an extra bedroom and they had a desk there. And all of a sudden they just said, you know what, I, I have an idea. I'm going to go online and I've got a thousand bucks and I'm going to go ahead and buy something to sell on Amazon, or I'm going to go ahead and offer a service of advice, or maybe I'm just good at uh, filming certain things online and making how-to videos on YouTube. That's what I do. I'm definitely not some guy with an education. I was one of the guys that got kicked out of high school. And then I had my son one month, two months, I'm sorry. After high school, I was buying Pampers to the best of my ability. And I went to construction because that was about the highest paying job I could get as a guy that basically was like worried about cruising around in my Camaro with cassettes and my pretty girlfriend on my side and living the life of just fun. But I, hell, I didn't think about what am I going to, what am I going to do after high school? Well, I'm going to keep dating. I'm going to get a big house and have parties in it like weird science and risky business. That was my, you know, and I won't say my friends' names, but I had two or three friends from my high school that we thought about that seriously. If we got a huge house, that was 2000 a month in 1985, which is a huge house back then. I make 500, my two, my two or three other friends, we're going to have risky business. We're going to have girls. We're going to have guys that pay the girl. I mean, we honestly were that crazy. And I know there's guys that are doing it right now or girls. Heidi Fleiss, she probably did the same thing. I'm, well, I'm about the same age as Heidi. But you know what? You kind of do what you know. And then all of a sudden, all those big ideas, you have babies. You get a home, you get a white picket fence, then all of a sudden you have insurance, dental insurance. You get that box, it's safe. 
and and good for you, man. If you if you are in a box, and it, but it's comfortable, and your family and your and and your kids are in great shape, then I love it, man. That's awesome. But if you feel like you have a couple extra bucks, and maybe you'd like to you know just work at your home, I don't want anyone to invest any money into a a brick and mortar uh, type place where you have to go and get a subway by leasing something. Get into this uh, one to two year contract. You have to go ahead and pay a franchise fee, and then you have to worry about, you know, hiring the right employees, advertising it. Uh, there is comfort in uh, franchises, and you can definitely make a good, comfortable living. But if you're just not into sandwiches, selling them, I love them. I eat them every day, but I don't want to sell them. I just don't want to. Uh, I love motorcycles. I just don't want to sell motorcycles. Maybe I will in a week, but right now I just don't want to. I love to hang out at motorcycle shops. There's no one I don't know in Salt Lake when it comes to biking. I've been biking forever. I can walk in any bike shop right now and I can actually almost fix any bike too. I'm a pretty good mechanic when it comes to that. But do I wanna sell them right now? No, I just wanna buy Hot Wheels of them and maybe a Lego one. The new uh, Harley Davidson Lego one, badass. It's a fat boy. I actually bought it and it's behind my computer over here. But you know, wherever you are, Right now, if you're watching this recording or if you're live right now, you are right where you are and I'm right here. If you think that you're similar to where I'm sitting, which means I would like to have my own business, it makes me feel good, gives me something to do and make me feel more valuable, gives me tax write-offs. And on top of that, if I can make money where I don't have to punch a clock, I don't have to go somewhere, most people I think have okay bosses. You're always gonna hear the term, you hate your boss, he's an asshole. That is so true in a lot of cases, but I've worked for some really nice people too, where I get addicted to the social aspect of working, where I don't even care if I make money, I go to work because it's fun and I wanna hang out with people. That's how stupid, that kinda of sounds dumb, doesn't it? That you actually start liking your job so much that you, like, you get a paycheck every week or every other week, you're like, Oh man, they're actually paying me to hang out here at a radio station. I, I've been in radio and nightclub ownership for a long time. A lot of good, bad, and ugly with that. The entertainment business is about as fun as a movie. And then when the movie's over, sometimes it's like, oh, just it's just as bad as any job you'd think of. But I I don't feel like really, you know, doing radio at this point. I don't want to buy another nightclub like I've owned. Challenging, awesome. I might want one next week, but the last few years I'm a little older. Um I'm more comfortable in my skin. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. If I hear good, bad, and ugly about an opinion about my appearance or an idea that I have, I really don't care. If I believe in myself, that's all that counts. And if I have some nice friends that think highly of me, uh, it makes me feel even better. Uh, but I like to own my own business where I can kind of set my own hours and do something that makes me feel good about myself, like for real. Like when you're done doing a hard day's work or whatever, you're not ashamed of what you're selling. You, you don't feel like you're a con. You don't think you're you know, selling a shiny ball because it's a fad. And you're not just really good at talking because um, there's a lot of paid spokesmen out there late at night on telly, on the old cable, or just, my God, how many infomercials are there online right now? About what, 8.5 trillion. A lot of them filmed right down the street, about 20 minutes from where I'm talking right now. There's a city called Lehigh. Some of the greatest infomercials on planet Earth are made right there. And you know what? After they make that 30-minute infomercial or all those badass videos that you're going to see online, when the cameras are done and they, they're done editing, I would say 75% of the people that are on those videos are paid actors. I know a lot of them. I've been in media and broadcasting a lot, a lot of years, over 33 years now. Um, and they look good. They look convincing. You watch it and you get your credit card out. If I had my credit card around me, man, you just can't wait to spend, can't you? But just be wary and do some background research if you do anything when it comes to any business. And right now, I'm proud to say Digital Income System. It's a company. I like it. I vetted, which is where you do a background check. You hear vet a lot right now. It doesn't mean go get a dog and go to the vet. But when you vet, you just kind of look around, you sniff, you do some background checking. And if it looks pretty good, then go to the second phase, which is talking to the company. Third phase, when you're a part of the company, 
look at the products that they have for sale, look at the pay structure. And what I like to do is it's simple. I like to call the company. I like to like, you know, kind of like getting a Ferrari. They look good. Most people drive them in first gear. They don't even go 55. They're too scared. It's going to get a rock chip. If I buy a Ferrari, I want to go to the max. I want to do a burnout because Ferraris, oh, the clutches suck. They go fast top end, but don't do a burnout like a muscle car, like a Camaro or a Corvette. That's American. They're beefy. I'm like, if I'm lucky enough to buy a Ferrari, I'm going to do a burnout half the way down the street if it has 600 horsepower. And if that clutch goes out or if it breaks, it's going to do it during my test drive. You know what I mean? I'm going to throttle. I'm going to really go ahead and take that company, shake it a little bit, vet it. And then what I'm going to do, which I think all of you should do in any business, is find other people that might be working or have worked with that company. Now, online, this is very, very common. It's just like politics. Democrat, Republican. Bad mouth, bad mouth. Put a spin on something. No matter what, if you're left or right, depending on what side you are, one or the other is always going to come up with something good, something bad. Point, counterpoint. Okay? It's like a pinball, you know? At the end of the day, you're like, I don't even know what the hell. I don't even want to do anything at this point. It seems like I just want to go back to nine to five where there's a little bit of comfort in that box. Okay? What I mean is when you go online and if you type in Mother Teresa, she is a pretty good, she's a pretty good chick. But you know what? Half, half the people out there is going to say what a, what a crappy woman she was. Gandhi, pretty good person. There's some great people in Europe, Africa. There is uh, tons in America. You just hear these people that I think they really have done some great things in their life. But I'll be darned if there isn't like half the internet just says, oh my God, they're, I know my friend's friend and my friend's uncle used to know that person. And they were, yeah, I'm pretty sure that I heard that at a Super Bowl party the other day that, yeah, that person, oh man, I heard, I did. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, Dallas scored? What I mean is you, when you go online and you type in something, it's gonna be point counterpoint. When you type in a review of a company, you're going to hear, oh my God, what a scam. They're the worst. You should try this. You know, there's people that make great livings that have review websites. And a guy like me, let's say I come up with Corey Draper products. I get a hold of all these websites and go, can you please analyze my product? Let's say I, I have a product on how to grow long fried hair. I'm pretty good at it. I, you can tell, can't you? And then this review company, they go, you know what? I looked into it. Corey said, you know what? Don't, uh, don't tie your hair up. Don't use the right conditioners and go ahead outside and ride your motorcycle and go boating all day and let the, let the sun fry it. <laughs> wow, that's a great, you know, maybe that review site says, you know what? It's worth it. That course that was 20 bucks on how to grow long fried hair is pretty good. Okay. They're just review sites. They're going to be as good as much money as you pay them to be. Now. A rival company, they look at that and go, God, that company's getting some good traction. They're kicking ass. But I know that half the people that want to do it, or maybe they hear about the name, they're going to go, well, let's look up digital income system review. And of course, half of the reviews are probably going to be pretty honest. You know, 25% are going to be just, you know, you're just faking it to make it where you talk about how great it is and you don't, you haven't even joined it. And then of course the other 25% are just going to say it's bad because they're hoping if they're an influencer or they have a little bit of traction where they're kind of known as a good, legit reviewer that's honest, they're going to go, God, my product is similar, but I'm going to just make a simple YouTube video that says digital income system review. And it's going to start out good. You know what? Good website. It looks good. They have good intentions. They're based out of Florida. I think most of the employees don't have cavities. This person made his bed. And then halfway through, wow, here comes the bait and switch. But the way it's set up and this, this, we tried to find out that the best of my, you know, they try to keep themselves out. They don't want to get in trouble in any type of, you know, legal fashion. But kind of in my opinion, or in a real, wussy cotton candy way. I don't know if this is the company that people should be joining because 
my review site's so credible. I just bought it from Go, you know, GoDaddy for 21 bucks. And since I'm kind of good at talking to the camera and, and you know, coming up with a humble way about how it's not very good, but I heard this one's good. And then at the end, it's bait and switch. And usually they're so desperate to bait and switch you that when you get to those review sites, if the page is, let's say, where my fingers and, you know, here, one third the way down, they'll have, well, this looks pretty good. Halfway, this looks pretty good. And at the bottom, this is what I'm really hearing some good things about. Of course, it's their affiliate link to something they're selling. So it's very comfy for a lot of people to kind of position themselves as somebody that really knows a lot about 75 companies. And like they even have the budget to join them, let alone really put some blood, sweat, and tears into that system or product and give it a fair chance. If anyone says that they can really get down and dirty within two weeks of joining a business online, they're full of shit. I've been doing it 25 years. I consider myself an expert because I have lost a shitload of money by trying stuff and I'm street smart. I will take that over anyone that says that, yeah, they're just an expert. They've done all this crap. They got Lamborghinis and big houses, and but they don't talk about all the failure. They don't talk about all the headaches, all the hours, all the ridicule that uh, their friends do if, they, if it doesn't work out. I recommend listening to somebody that has lost money just as much as they's, they've made. Um, or maybe they've lost a hundred grand or they've made 50 million, but I'll trust somebody that has lost money and they're honest and that might even be online saying, man, here it is. They lost money. Cause I think that it, it makes them more smarter. If there is such a word, I ain't got my pencil, but if someone's lost something, they learn a lot from that. Even if they get in a depression and they leave the internet for a year, when they come back with another opportunity or something, they're just more humble. And they realize that if you're going to talk to somebody about joining something, consider them a friend, not a customer, not a viewer, not a fan. They're a friend. Because if you start doing business with them and you kind of recommend them joining, that's a friend to me. And I ain't going to burn a friend. I don't need money that bad. Um, I never will. Even if I'm like homeless, I don't want to make, uh, you know, a hundred bucks so I can go buy some food knowing that I just convinced somebody to join something so I can get that hundred bucks. And then a day later after my belly's full with some food, they're like, dude, I just gave you a hundred bucks and you just recommended something awful because that hundred bucks was what I needed to feed my family with. I hope that you guys think like that. I don't think about the karma. I hope there is karma because I know a lot of people that I hope karma just absolutely cuts their Wang Chung off, you know? But to me, it's like, I'm karma. Call me Corey Karma. Here's karma. How about a foot up your ass? You know? So I just hope that if you ever do any type of business with me, or if you're my friend on Facebook, or if you are in my, it, it could be like my classroom. I call these shindigs, but you know what I mean? There's a lot of us that get together daily or weekly, or we just say that, you know, uh, every Friday at five o'clock, we all join a webinar and we share stories, or maybe I just talk about something. But whenever I meet like this, I talk as normal and real as I can possibly be. I don't look at my clock. I know my webinars run longer than they should, because if you go to webinar class, they should be 10 minutes, five minutes, 75 minutes. You know what, I agree with all of it. But if I have a video on how to do this, my videos are quick, they're fast. They get, they get right down to brass tacks. I know that most people that watch this right now aren't watching live. They come to this and they just listen and they're gonna fast forward to what they need and they're out of there anyway, okay? So on these types of videos, I wanna just talk to you guys like you're my friend. I have people that wanna know about digital income system. That is who I work with. I don't work for, I work with them because they get 50% of if I have a video or if I have a postcard or if I just run into somebody on the corner of the street while I'm buying me a delicious Subway sandwich from somebody, if they go, hey, how are you? Why are you, you don't work much. You're always up late at night. You just, you're always messing off and stuff or you can have an appearance like this. It's not common to have an appearance of tattoos and long hair. 
you can at construction jobs and maybe work at rock clubs and maybe I can wear a ponytail and, and wear a business suit. But I, I honestly prefer a job where I don't have to worry about as much as my appearance. And that's important to me. I do shower. I do brush my teeth. I promise. I swear I do. But I know what I look like. I'm a realist. I'm not offended. If I do look like, you know, if I walk in a bank, even today, I, I, tonight, I, I, I visited one of my best friends in the hospital and I was laughing. I had my other best buddy with me and she's like this awesome, pretty lady. She looks so nice. She walks in, no one looks at her. I walk in and the cops at the lobby, you know, they're sitting there bored off their ass. I walk in, it's like, -na 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 -na. tank top, long hair. I'm probably sneaking in weed or Oxycontin for my friend in room 509. I get it. And that's okay. That's what makes life fun. We can hopefully get the freedom to choose how we look, how we act. Don't take it. Don't, you know, I just hope everyone lightens up. If you're profiled, don't have a shit fit. Don't jump off the cliffs and start saying racial this and that. I know how easy it is to be offended and get pissed off and be politically correct. But at the end of the day, just kind of go, you know what? I look like this. Hey, whatever. At least someone noticed me. That's how I look at it now in this 53 year old body here in a month. So, um, but how cool is it if you can maybe work from home, look how you want to look. You can eat when you want to eat. You can shower when you want to shower because you can wear jammies. You can wear slippers. Uh, if you're a nudist, you can do this job as a nudist. If you hate your face and don't want to be on camera, you don't need a camera. You don't ever have to do what I'm doing here where you just kind of talk and kind of explain stuff like this is just a, a little chit chat on a couch. You don't have to do any of that stuff. But if you have a couple bucks, it's not a lot. You can spend more. Usually if you want to invest or spend more in anything, you're going to have an opportunity to make more. But there's opportunities with this um, company where you can make six grand just in, in one pop. And you don't do any sales. There's no MLM. There is no sales. Don't even ever think you're selling anything. The company does the sales. All you do is just make videos, post stuff, be interesting on Facebook maybe on Instagram or Snappy Chatty or WhatsApp. I mean, what's up, buddy? Polly Shore, only the greatest comedian of all time, right? And Cena Man's good. And the one where he, he's a farmer. I forgot the name of that one. Funny Farm or Fun on the Farm or something like that. But anyway, if you hate sales, please listen to what I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to share my screen. I'm just going to show you because this is the part of the video where I kind of talk. People kind of fast forward to where my screen goes into what they wanna see. Cause there's a big buzz right now cause people are making some great money. And as you know, anytime that there's an opportunity and it's going well, that's always a great time to climb aboard. If the wave is building up, that's always like uh, the, the pristine time when you're a surfer, but this isn't a fad. This doesn't need a wave. The way I look at it, the last couple months, the wave is, it's full, the ocean's full, the pool is full. I'm not going to join something that's a wave because a wave goes away. I wonder if I put all this time and energy and effort into this company. And if it's a wave or a fad or something that's kind of badass before Christmas and then it fades away, why would I even want to do that? Um, I'm not into that. I don't own a ski resort. I don't own a lawn, mower, lawn mowing service where I really got to kick some ass because in the winter, I know that I better have a snow removal system, you know, company like here in Salt Lake, you know. So anyway. This is the part of the video where I'll just go like this and go, stop. They'll look at my, my hand, you know, and then they'll go, what's he doing? Okay, guys, this is where I'm going to show you behind the scenes. This is kind of like the Wizard of Oz at the end when you open the curtains and instead of this big magical mystery guy that's a powerful Oz, he's like this little tiny little man with little microphones and gadgets. So, all right, um, I'm going to take a drink. If you're live watching me on Facebook, uh, I know it's late at night in America, and that's why I do them, because these are mostly for my live audience in uh, Europe. And uh, it's good morning in Europe and good afternoon, almost evening in Asia right now, in Asian countries, I'm sorry. I say Asia, that's a big piece of earth. Hazelnut coffee. They're like, how do you stay up so late? I go, I don't know, but this is my 12th cup of hazelnut coffee. And when I drink, see how my wrist is like this? They go, you drink coffee like a girl, so hold on a minute. That's the kind of crap you get when you're on these social. Is that okay? Because the other day I was drinking it like this because my, this, God, this cup's huge. Look at the size of it. <laughs> Hold on a minute. 
Don't start the video yet. Hold on. I want to be on video where I hold my coffee like a man. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is the part where I'm going to show you what digital income system is. We sell education to people that want it. We don't go to anyone and say, do you want education? They come to us. We're the university that have our doors open. People come to us. Do you have to go find people that don't want education? No. People are mostly gonna come to you going, please, what do you have for sale? I'm looking to buy. You're just gonna go like this, go in the door. And whatever they buy, let them buy. They're, you aren't a salesman. All you are is just a cool guy or a cool girl, and you're just gonna point if someone asks you an opinion on where I can go buy some badass education on how to maybe market your pizza place. How do I get customers online? How do I market? Which is this. This is, some people call it advertising. This is just marketing. You're just talking about something and, and you just kind of go like this and people go to a website. And then from there, there's nothing more to do. Just please remember digital income systems does all the pain in the ass sales. They do the auto responding emails where they regularly go, hey, do you need any more information? Do you need this? Do you want me to text you, phone call you, email you? All that stuff. You are not no one's bitch with this company. You're not. You're not a salesperson. You're just an independent guy or girl that just goes, check this out. Well, I have this type of education. Here it is. And if you want to make some money online, looking like a fried hippie out of uh, Wayne's World, don't I look like the roadie on Wayne's World? The guy, remember the old guy that was, he was like the manager of the Who or the Doors? <laughs> That's who I am right now. So you're not a salesman. You're not a saleswoman. All right. You're just going to be a badass person online who just goes like this. And then everything else is automated. And this is what it looks like. So anyway, Corey Draper here. If you guys don't know who I am over on the other parts of the world, or even maybe here in Montana or Iowa, but um, in just a few seconds, let me just explain my background. Um, born and raised in Santa Barbara, California. In the 80s, I moved to Salt Lake City in the bowl. You know, mostly Sandy, but anyway, just Salt Lake City. You guys know there. Uh, been on and off and on in Salt Lake City for a long time. Uh, I had a, um, I had a nice career in FM radio. I've owned four nightclubs. I have sold 600 and something cars in Las Vegas as a wholesale, you know, kind of almost like a dealership. But uh, oh my God, I've done so much. I've been an entrepreneur. I've been in the semi truck business, uh, you know, delivering point A to point B in those big ass semi trucks. So uh, I've made a lot of money. I've lost a lot of money. I've had a lot of great friends. I have a lot of friends that have passed away. My life has been a roller coaster, brother. And you know what? I, it, I Every line in my head, I've earned every bit of it. Uh, but at this point, I'm in Salt Lake City as I speak here live, or if you're watching the recording, um, this company that I'm going to tell you about, I ran into about three, about three months ago. I had some influencers. They're not super famous, like a celebrity in the movie business, but they're pretty well known. Uh, and, and they legitimate, legitimately have made millions of dollars online. Because you'll hear that no one makes money online. I guarantee you, I've met them in person. I've seen what they drive, their homes, their lifestyles. You can be a normal person and make a great living. You can be a millionaire. You got to just believe in it and follow through with it. That's all they did. They did not do anything special. They just believed in themselves and they kept working the business. This business, I think, has been perfected off the other ones that I've done. Roughly, I hit it hard in 2013. So I'm on my sixth year here in Salt Lake City. But I go way back in MLM from New Skin, the 80s, the 90s. There's been some MLMs that I thought I maybe could do, but no, I'm not a multi-level marketing guy. I don't need anyone watching this video to work for me. You work alongside me. You're my friend. If I can help you with advice on what helps me or to get me out of my rut, I want you to do the same to me. We, we, we're a team because if we make a lot of money, I want to go to Vegas. I want to go to places where we can hang personally because the older you get, you run out of friends. Trust me when you're almost 53 years old. So I want you guys to be successful and uh, let's have a nice friendship and maybe we can do some other business down the road. But right now, let me just show you why I'm excited about this company over a billion others out there that have the big shiny ball syndrome, like my big fat head right now, okay? All right, well anyway, enough about my big old fat self, uh, fat face self. I'm gonna switch my screen and I'm gonna turn into a little man 
in the corner. Uh, it might be this one. And I'm just going to take you for a little uh, ride. It's like going to Disneyland, but you don't have to pay. You can just kind of hang out. So hold on. It always takes me a minute to share my screen. I just have to hit a couple buttons here. So I'm going to hit that button. I'm going to hit that button. And hopefully, did I magically appear on the top right of your screen? All right. I sure hope so. Okay, guys. It's this simple. With this type of company, you're going to be required to do a couple things, and they're very affordable and they're very easy. Do you guys know what a domain name is? A domain name is like, for example, CoreyDraper.com. Okay, I own that. So do you see at the very top of your screen there where I highlighted it in blue? Okay, just watch what I do. C-O-R-Y-D-R-A-P-E-R.com. Um, hold on a minute. C-O-R. Oh, wait, you have to do. Oh, yeah, okay, there it is. Sorry. Okay, see, that's my domain name. And if they're not taken on like GoDaddy, they only cost like 11, 12 bucks. You can make them private where no one knows your address and all your inside information for another 10. So that's about like what, 23 bucks. And then you can get your own email address, for example, Corey at CoreyDraper.com. That's 25 bucks a year. So for roughly less than 50 bucks, you've got a domain name, it's private with your own email address. That's basically what you need. Now, you're going to have your own website when you get with Digital Income System, okay? So I'm going to hit enter on CoreyDraper.com. And right now, you're going to see this screen here. This is where the company takes over. They have tons of capture pages. A capture page is what you're looking at. What does it capture? The person's name, address, and cell phone if they want. They can put a fake name, Elvis Presley. They need an email address and they usually give a real one because they want to look at what, what's going on, but they think, oh, and I'm not giving some of my cell number. They're going to call. I'm not going to give them my name. I'll be on a spam list. This company could give two craps about that. They do not do that. They just want to know, do you want us to show you a 20 minute video? Because it kind of describes things a little better than maybe I do because I tend to put some flavor on things and talk a, a more in a rock and roll way. But it's just a nice 20 minute video. Sit back, get a cup of coffee or whatever you like to drink and just watch it. It's real easy to watch. So, you know, Elvis Presley, um, you know, Corey at uh, CoreyDraper.com and then cell phone. And then you can hit instant access, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just put in a name. Let's just put, who's kind of famous right now? I, I don't even know who's a big celebrity. How about Freddie Mercury? I love uh, Queen. All right, there's no one cooler than Freddie Mercury, man. Freddie Mercury. Okay, my real address, I own a company called Big Planet Entertainment at gmail.com. So I need to use a real email. I can't make a fake one because it won't go to me. So there's Freddie Mercury, Big Planet Entertainment. And I don't really need their cell phone, but if someone wants to, that's okay. It's up to that person. So you need a domain name, make it private, get email for 25 bucks. I use GoDaddy. I think they're the best. I've never had a problem with them in 25 years. After you get that, you're just going to simply forward the exact link at the very top left of your screen. Now, do you see digital income system forward slash 7427? That is my individual, you know, code 7427. If you join, let, like, let's say today, you're going to have a number that says like 8559. You know, whatever it is, they assign it to you, okay? So you're going to get a domain name and forward it to your own custom link right there. So in my case, it goes to the digitalincomesystem.com forward slash 7427. That way, everything that happens, what I'm going to show you now, it all is coded to me. So if there's any sales of education, I get 50% of that, okay? So Freddie Mercury, Big Planet Entertainment, here in the middle of my screen, this is the capture page. Now the person hits get uh, instant access, that rectangle blue button at the bottom. Okay. Takes a sec, okay, there we go. Now here is a total website maintained. It is beautiful, it is clutter-free. There's not all this flash and all this horse crap. These download fast. I love the design of this company. Do you see how easy it is? There's not a lot of clutter. It's just super simple. And all you do in the middle, see it says watch video, or you can request someone to call you back if you like more information or you like something about the video. 
You can get a hold of me anytime. I have plenty of time if you guys are serious. I'm not going to pretend like, oh, God, I need freedom. I need to go on vacation. Don't bug me. I'm not that type of guy. I want, I want more friends in my life. I really do. And if you guys need a little bit more information, I'm more than happy. Just give me some time. Um, you know, but get a hold of me on my Facebook pages if you need to. I don't mind. So watch the video. So you click watch video. And in the middle of your screen, you're going to see a 20 minute and 45 second video just about digital income system. It explains things a little bit, how they pay, how much things are, what customer servicing is like, and then maybe some testimonials. You know, you have all those guys that are high energy that say how great the company is. I mean, but anyway, that's all they do. Now, remember this. You're not doing any sales. You're not contacting anybody or begging anyone to do this. So if people watch this and it's just not for them, they're never going to call you or bug you or take any of your time away like a car sale or, you know, you don't have to talk about anything. The company does because if they want more information, the company has their email address, their cell phone number, or they text them. And what's cool is the people that come to this, this uh, website, they are already looking for information how to market or make money online. We're not going into a food store looking for a screwdriver, or we're not trying to sell a screwdriver to a food store. Nothing is worse than cold selling, where you just go in and say, oh, I got an opportunity. Boy, you're going to make money. Or, hey, join our MLM because our shampoo and conditioner is the best. That's not what this company is about. We already have people coming to us that just want a fair chance to get some good education about marketing or making money at home. And the special sauce is that you don't have to do any sales because a lot of people, they, they've done sales and they hate it or they're shy. I'm full of crap. I love people and I hate sales. I don't want to sell. I want to party with you guys. If there's any sailing, I want to be on a boat working on my tan, pretending I'm 25 again. So that's, the beginning of digital income system. You get your own domain name, make it private. You go ahead and get your own email address because if you get into emailing people, there's a better chance that your email doesn't go into their spam. Because if you get Corey at CoreyDraper.com, there's a certain way through a little video you're going to watch on how to go ahead and email people to where there's a better chance that that doesn't go into the spam folder. Because that's catastrophic. catastrophic. Because if you have leads or if you email someone, you don't want it to go to the spam folder. So get your own email, get your domain, make it private. It's about 50 bucks and that's very affordable, okay? So there's the beginning of what digital income system is. There's no hype, there's no bull crap. All they want is just go ahead and put your name in and your email so that they can send you something that they can watch for 20 minutes. The company still doesn't beg you after that. If you want more information, you just politely ask Digital Income System. They are not a company for 10 to 15 bucks an hour hired out of the country or in America. These are not telephone service operators. That's not what they do. These people that you're going to talk to, they're like coaches. They, they know the system. They've, uh, most of the coaches have been doing it over 20 years. So you talk about great experience. And if you call these, these coaches, Man, they're, they're very intelligent. You, you, can't, you can't possibly come up with a question that they're not going to know. And that's what I like because I tell everyone this. Before I joined, I waited two months just to see if my friends were starting to make money and if it was a fad because they're experts. They advertised for leads. And when they started making money and everything else, then I said, you know what? Let's go to the next level and let's go ahead and call their customer service guys or their coaches and let's really let them have it. So that's what I did. I, I was a pain in the ass guy with a thousand questions. And you know what? They said, hey, if you have any more, call us back. And I'm like, God, what a miracle to talk to someone on a phone. I'm so used to talking to someone that I can't even understand their dialect or they, I have to fill out a ticket. And then like two days later, they get back with me. And by then I'm not going to join. I'm bored off my ass by then. I've probably joined another opportunity or I'm at a concert. I'm at Def Leppard, man, screaming photographs. So anyway, I think you get the gist on how people get the ball rolling if they would like to go ahead and get some education or make some money with digital income system, okay? Now, what I'm gonna show you is when you are joined 
you went ahead and you bought some education. You had our coaches, you're signed up, you're ready to go. Boom. You're like, let's, let's go. What's the, what's the next step? Okay. Let me switch my screen. I've got to go ahead and close this out and then let me uh, just go ahead and, and uh, open up the, the drapes. Okay. So after you've joined, you're going to go to digitalincomesystem.com. It's just simply their login page. You're going to get a username and a password. I'd show you my password, but I probably won't. Let's just call me crazy and I'm not going to show you that. Okay, so I clicked login. Okay, this is just the first page. This is like the home. This is the guts. There's nothing fancy. There's nothing cluttered. The more cluttered it is, it just means you're going to sit for two weeks having fun learning stuff and overanalyzing and get absolutely paralyzed. And it's kind of entertaining. I've done the same thing. I join shit and I, I, I spend three months just learning it. I don't even try to make money with it. For some reason, I just feel like it's entertainment. Okay, do you remember the home page? See this one right here that I'm circling? They're called the capture page, okay? The company has a whole bunch of them. And if you prefer, let's say, there's one here with a pretty girl. Okay, see her? If you like this capture page, you can go ahead and have this the capture page where she's just nice, smiling, name, email. See how nice and clutter-free it is? This is an excellent capture page. If there's too much information on one and everything else, you just, you just like, screw it. I'm not gonna even get into this. I recommend always having a really crystal clean capture page because the most important thing is you need to get their email address. Even if they do a fake name, it doesn't matter. You just need their email address. And if they're serious about it, they're gonna give you a real name and a real email address. Most people give a phone number too because they believe in the system so much they would like a phone call because that proves the company's even more legit, especially when they find out they're all living in Florida and they're on Facebook and they're real people. That's very exciting for me because most companies, you don't even know where they're at, who they are, and all of their customer service guys are 6,000 miles away from me. So, all right. Well, anyway, that's just a capture page. And look at how many they have. They have this kind, this guy on the phone. They got this guy here. He looks like he's the lead singer of Weezer. And if you want more, just go up here and see the classic sales funnels. But um, I really like the one I'm using, this one. But you see this one right here? Look at how simple that is. It's just red. It gets to the point. My friend has generated over 250,000 bucks by just using that page as their capture page, okay? It's even more simple than mine. And some people, they just don't want a lot of stuff. They just want to they want to watch the video. So this one's super successful for my buddy. And this one has been great for me. I mean, if you look on the screen, oh, whoops, I hit the wrong button there. But, um, okay, there it is right there. Uh, see at the bottom, it says make primary page. So let's say I'm using this one right to the right here, this one. But let's say I wanna go to the capture page. This one that's highlighted, all you do is just say make primary page. And that's it. All of a sudden, after they go to CoreyDraper.com, in my case, they go ahead and get uh, the capture page. And you got like, you know, tons of them. For me personally, I just really like this one. And that's all. You know, nothing more, nothing fancy. So that's the one I choose. And I, I like it a lot. And look at that. Almost 800 people dig it. Isn't that exciting? And the minimum I make is 500 bucks on a $1,000 sale. Do you think I can get one or two or three sales out of 800 people that are coming to me for information. What do you think the odds are of that? Three times 500, that's 1500 bucks. That's pretty damn exciting, isn't it? All right, so anyway, uh, if you guys are joining the video, my name's Corey Draper and I'm just kind of showing the guts to digital income system. I'm reviewing it. I'm just giving you my opinion. I'll state that for legal reasons. I'm not guaranteeing any income at all because it's up to your work ethic or your budget or just, you know, you're just, it comes down to work ethic. If you really get excited, like I do, I can't wait to work the system. This, I don't even consider this a pain in the ass. This is fun. Okay, so there's your uh, capture page. All right, and, and, uh, and like I said, I'm gonna show you the guts of digital income system. This is not recorded and edited. This is live right now, and I have some of my friends on Facebook watching me to attest to this. If you don't know how to generate leads, like people to come to you, good, because you don't have a bunch of 20-year-ago technology stuck in your brain 
where you kind of know it all. I'm jealous of people that don't know what they're doing because in 2019, that's what works. What worked in 85 might not work now. What worked in 1970 probably doesn't work now. What worked last year might not work now. All I'm telling you is that this company, they've had tons of time, tons of great people work for them that have filtered out and got rid of traffic sources that say, hey, let, you know, give us money and we'll give you leads. Hey, our postcard company, we'll go, you know, give us money and we'll mail out 500 postcards for you. It's not that there's a lot of companies that are scams because there is, there are, it's just the way it is, but there is a lot of scams. What they'll do is they'll say, give me a hundred bucks and I'll give you a hundred leads. You know what they do? They give 50 bucks to someone that gives them 100 leads. So they make 50 bucks on you. And then all of a sudden they're get, you're getting 50 bucks, a hundred leads because that company took 50 and they paid another company. You don't even know. You don't even know where your leads are coming from. And if you have any type of experience in this business, if you give a lot of people money for something and you sit back waiting for results, most of the time you get no results. It pisses you off. It's like, God, I just spent 500 bucks on postcards. I spent a thousand dollars on leads. And how many, how many leads did I even get back? None. It's probably because the people loved giving, taking your thousand bucks and they kept 500 and then they gave it to, Fiverr or so there's so many companies out there that promise leads promise leads well you know what if you get leads through this company it means that they've had success generating leads for this company why this company makes no money unless you do these guys are not going to give you leads to postcards or good advice on how to generate organic leads yourself or if, if you buy a solo ad all that is is where companies out there that are very established, most of them have like 20 to 30 years of websites where people enter in information where they're seeking certain things. How can I get more customers? How can I advertise? How can I build a website? Okay, what we do is buy a solo ad. And I know that I don't even like that name because it sounds like it's different than what it actually is. Just pretend a solo ad is you're buying a lead. You're buying a person that says, my name is Bob Marley. Here's my email address. Please send me some education about this or an opportunity for that. That's all a solo ad is, is a person that wants them emailed something. So if you buy 300 solo ads, that means that this company, if you want to go through this company and there's other credible ones that we will go ahead and tell you about. We don't make any money off of them, but we've had success by using these people before. That's because most of the times when you buy leads, you wanna get leads from people that have already bought education already. They've already got their credit card. They believe that there is value in buying education online. They've done it before, they want more. But because obviously, do you think that everyone at McDonald's has been there for the first time to taste their rubber hamburgers or those delicious fries. Hell no, they're, they've been there 500 times. McDonald's don't even probably even need to advertise anymore. You know, their menu has been the same since what, the 60s, I think. But would you rather, you know, sell education to someone that's already bought education before? And you can bet your butt that if they go ahead and buy level one, which is a grand, What's the odds that they might come in and say, God, this company kicks ass. Not only do I get education, but I can also make money too. They're like, well, what's the next levels? What's the next education? Let them decide. It's as crazy as you standing in front of the, like Harvard or BYU or UCLA college. And you're stopping every student. No, 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 no. You can only spend 500 bucks on this and you can only spend 200 bucks on that. If you go to Yale, what is it? 200 grand a year? You go to the U of U where I'm at in Utah, I'm not going to tell anyone to not buy a $10,000 course or $12,000 or $500 million course. Because if I can structure myself to get half of that, you bet your ass. I just want people to go to the front door and let them shop. When, when people go to Amazon, they're going to put the hand up like, talk to the hand. Don't tell people on what to buy. Let them buy it all because it's all good, you know? So don't, 
you don't even have to talk to anybody. That's the beauty of it, that you don't, you're not a salesman, you know? So if you want to do postcards, great. If you want to hand out things on the street, old school, great. If you want to go ahead and just buy leads, which I think is very cool, because I think a lot of people, they just, they have extra money. They can honestly afford like an extra 100 or $500 to market with or advertise. That's really not a lot of money if you're opening up your own brick and mortar store. You've usually got to have about one to 150,000, I think is the average right now. So boy, if you can get in on this company and guess how much it costs each month to, to keep going. How do you spell zero? Z, Z if I'm in Canada, Z E R zero. After you go ahead and get your feet wet and jump in with us, there's lots of things that you can look on this back office and make up your decision on how much money you would like to make. It's very realistic. It's structured simple. There's no MLM where you get 1% of 5% equal this. You get 50% of what people buy. You're not going to meet these people. They got their credit cards out. They want to buy information. We have uh, programs that go all the way up to 25,000 bucks. And how nice is it that you don't even have to talk to these people yet? And then they're going to become your friends because believe me, after they join and start feeling good about the business and, and there's like a community, they're going to want to be your friend. And, and I hope you want to be their friend as well. But if you're busy and you have a family and you're on the go all the time, I understand you don't even have to talk to anyone in this business at all. Um, not even myself. And if you have questions, you can just call the company up and you know you, you tell them, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm off at three o'clock to four o'clock because my kids are uh, you know, at swimming lessons. But like I said, the company's easy going. They're not gonna beg you to do this business. There's already millions of dollars coming in and it's all because it's legit, it's legal. It's information. It's not dated. If, if you buy a course today, and if you buy this exact course, let's say you buy a level one course, uh, it's not going to be the same in five years because the company's not dumb. You know, if, if, if the cassette tape is replaced by the CD, you bet your ass you're going to you're gonna upgrade your information, your product. That's why at the beginning of the video, I said, I don't really want to sell shampoos, conditioners. It's just not me. I don't want to sell something that's kind of fishy or maybe it's outdated. I don't mind selling information because I really believe it's important to buy information just as it is to go to YouTube or whatnot and get great information there too. Cause there's, there's great information everywhere, but if you don't take action and use it, then what good is it? It's just entertainment. You might as well just watch fart videos and cats fight on YouTube. And that's fun too. I recommend that as well. So digital income system. I know a lot of people, thousands of people are going to watch this review. This isn't a review where I make money uh, because at the end of this video, it's going to say, you know, digital income is pretty good, but you should look into that. You should look into this. This video is on my personal YouTube channels. I get, I get millions of views on other channel, on other view, uh, videos right now. I don't need to make a review video right now to get any more people to look at my channels. This is where I'm a real person. You can look me up on Facebook. You can look this company up. And I'm so proud of this company. I talk about it on all of my social media. I wouldn't do that if this company was a, a scam. And I don't bait and switch. I don't need to do that crap like 90% of the internet where they badmouth everything. And then behind, they're like little bitches going, God, I hope, I hope they join my, you know, my MLM so I can make $1.50. So... This company is just, I like to look at it as an online college and you can buy some really kick-ass information. And if you'd like to make some money too, without doing any sales and where you feel good about it, because you're going to have people buy from you and they're going to get a hold of you maybe if you want them to and say, thanks a lot. This is awesome, man. This is some badass information and I'm so excited. I think I want to do it. I think I want to make money with this company too. Is it okay if you're my friend on Facebook or is there like a, a community online, which there is. We don't tell everyone where it's at. We just want like-minded people that believe in digital income system. And you bet your ass we're going to help you out. I guarantee you, if I had 20 bucks to hand you right through the old webcam right now, you're going to get stuck. You're going to get pissed. You're going to want to say the F word 500 times because you just get overwhelmed and you're tired and your kids are crying and 
And honestly, there's badass TV out there. You need to watch that. I'm not saying stop what you're doing for two years and ruin your life because you need to do this and that. Man, take a breath. Drink some coffee when you're watching the videos. If you want to watch Walking Dead, watch Walking Dead. But afterwards, come on, let's, let's do some business. Let's make you some money. Let's show each other what works, what doesn't work. And let's have some fun. Online business doesn't have to be all dress up and act bitchy. And, and then all, your, all the people talk like they know it all because all the, all, all the videos are edited professionally, obviously. I'm not into that. I ain't going to buy, I'm not going to really hang out with someone that's a paid actor or maybe he is a millionaire, but I know that if he met me with the way I look, he'd just blow me off and go, hey, thanks for blowing a grand on my course. Okay, look, I got to go, but hey, thanks. It was really great to meet you. Brush off, high five. <laughs> so I don't need that shit. I'm almost 53. I've had that my whole life. But anyway, let me just show you some more about digital income systems because I know if you guys are kind enough to watch this video, I know you can fast forward all my little coffee breaks and my bull crap, but Anyway, if you're live on Facebook right now, what's going on? Um, I'm just doing courses. If you guys are wondering why I'm on Facebook Live like this, I just it's more exciting for me knowing people are watching, and uh, it, it just makes me feel better when I'm actually doing these, uh, not recording. I like the live audience effect. So, okay, digital income system. You'll have your own back office, exactly like this one. And you can see the home page right there. That's what this looks like. If you click get traffic here, click it. The announcement, watch the starter video. Do exactly what the videos say in order. All that does is set up your profile. It's easy. Sometimes it's fun. People love joining stuff, and the first thing they can't wait to do is just configure everything. You know, it's fun. It's like getting a new cell phone. Done for you text ads. Okay. If you have a cell phone and if you request, like, God, you know, I'd like to have some information text to me, how cool is it that there's companies out there? that can send a text to somebody that is looking for education for something or how to make money online without sales. Because they, they go ahead and text something from you. And if they click it on their cell phone, which the average person, when they get a text, they, they check it almost instantly. It's addicting. And if it's for them, and they're probably going to watch it because they requested it anyway. You're, we're not going to go ahead and spam out a bunch of text to cell phone uh, users. You know, we're not going to send out pizza discount coupons if somebody's like, God, what, what happened, man? I just, I, I, want, I want a screwdriver. Uh, don't ever like blast and splam and, blah, and just, you know, talk about, oh, man, you want to make money. Do this, do that. I mean, have people come to you. It's, it's attraction marketing. Let people come to you that are already looking for what you have for sale, which is just information. So I think you guys get it. I can't stress that enough because everybody always thinks this is MLM and you got to go sale. No, you're not going to do that. You're going to mess it up if you try to anyway. So look at my screen. It says done for you text ads. What, what these are is companies that this company believes in, where if you have a couple bucks, go ahead and order some text leads. Those leads go simply to your domain. In my case, CoreyDraper.com. I don't meet these people. I just, I'm lucky enough to earn a couple extra bucks where I can pay a company to get me leads via a text, okay? This traffic source here, if you look on my screen, look in the middle, traffic source library. There's lots of people. There's lots of education there about a Facebook ad. There's all these ways. There's, see where it says PPC, pay-per-click. If you're into YouTube or in Facebook, do what you know. Don't try to learn everything at once. I recommend, in my case, I love Facebook. I do it no matter what. I love it to death. And I love YouTube. So those are the only two things that I even give a crap about because I love it. I do it for free anyway. And what, then what I do is I just simply hook up all my other social media to where if I post on Facebook, it posts automatically on all my other social media websites that I just set up once. And then I just go ahead and bounce it all to there. So I got some friends that are like, God dang, you're on social media all day. How do you do it? It's like, well, no, I just, I kind of do it just once on Facebook and it posts automatically on all my other ones. I just recommend that because the more, the more social media things you have, you're going to have a better chance to catch more fish. You know, why, why fish in one pond if you have access to 20? 
Now, DIS system tools, uh, AWeb uh, Weber setup. When you go into this, you just click these. It just gives you good advice on how to set up like auto responders, like AWeber, Get Response. There's a whole bunch out there. What an auto responder is is where you just put an email message in, uh, uh, the you know the software, and then that software automatically emails your list whenever you want. So I like to email out twice a day, early in the morning and early in the afternoon. So the company here has emails pre-written for you until you get good enough where you might wanna just, you know, write your own emails. But I recommend in the beginning, just copy and paste. These have already worked. You know, why reinvent the wheel when you're learning? Make money now while you're learning. Don't wait five months how to write the best emails on the planet. Just use what's already working, copy, paste, put it in your autoresponder, which is about 20 bucks a month on the average, maybe 25. So you got 50 bucks out to buy a domain name and make it private with your email address. A reoccurring expense each month is affordable is your autoresponder. And like I said, let's just say the average is 20 to 25. I've had them for 15 years. That's been my average. So you're eventually gonna wanna have an autoresponder because what I really recommend is when you start collecting all the email addresses, this company already already sell, uh, saves them for you. And they do have their own built-in autoresponder, which I'll show you here in a second. But um, you always wanna collect and save your email addresses. And right now, I'm, I know I'm on the little webcam on the corner, but you know these little memory sticks? Uh, you know, buy a couple of them. You might even get them free at your bank, but whenever you have email, you know, and email addresses, they weigh nothing. It's not like you're saving movies and music. You know, you can save 5,000 trillion email addresses. Like, <laughs> you know, it doesn't even take any space on a memory stick. But, but along the way, you're going to collect a lot of email addresses. And you want to keep them all because these are people that have come to you. And right now, the average person doesn't buy right away. You got to email them at least five times before they get their slippers off and then, or their shoes off. And then uh, there's another couple emails where they put their swim trunks on. And then sometimes it takes as high as 10 to 12 emails to where they go, you know what, I'm going to put my feet in and jump in this water and let's have some fun. So don't be disappointed if you have to email a lot of times. And you can do it yourself or just get an autoresponder where you can put in all these email addresses, copy and paste them. And that way, if you want to do a week's worth of autoresponders, put in two times seven. So go ahead and get 14 messages that have a nice story. And then there's a click, uh, a link that just says, hey, please check this out. Go to CoreyDraper.com. And bam, it's done automatically for you. And if you want to do two a day, it automatically does two a day for seven days because you got 14 emails in there. And it's so easy. So that's what an autoresponder does. It just automatically emails a list. Now, where do I get a list? That's what the solo ad is. I recommend that if you don't have the patience or the time, I'm in my 50s, I really do love to make videos and I love social media, but sometimes you just want a thousand people looking for education or how to make money at home in their underwear with no sales. If you're lucky enough to have some extra money or a credit card and only you know your budget, don't get it mad at your wife, your husband. If you have Christmas coming up, then save your money for that. But if you're lucky enough to have some extra money, which a lot of people do, Go ahead and just buy some solo ads, buy some leads. Let's get like 500 to 1,000 people in your autoresponder. Let's send them a couple nice messages that have already worked before per day, and they're not going to be mad at you because they have requested the information. They're coming to you asking, give me a clickable link so I can look, out, look at what you're selling, which is education. And they're not saying, Corey, do it. They don't even know who I am. I just bought the lead from the company. Whatever company you want to use, I recommend using what this company recommends because, you know, they, they, they have a lot more experience than I do when it comes to that. So if you don't know how to get any type of leads or you don't know how to YouTube or you don't know how to Facebook, and if you're on a budget, I understand. But I'll tell you what, this is a really good opportunity that if you have a thousand bucks, just to get started, get into the system, get this company in your life, okay? 
And if you have a couple hundred extra bucks here and there, or even more, don't waste it on a bunch of stuff you don't need. Like, well, I need business, you know, maybe I need a shirt, maybe I need all this uh, fancy letterhead, maybe I need, you know, this, this fancy equipment to make my at home office, you know, nice and juicy. You're like, no, the average person has a decent laptop, a decent home computer, or even a cell phone. Uh, the cell phone can go live. See this video right now, I can share my screen or I can go ahead and just kind of click a button and my big fat face is on Facebook. You can't do this. Um, you can't do this on Facebook. Uh, you can only share your screen. You know, my big fat face right now, that's all you can do. And then you can share one screen and that's it. And then when you kind of turn it off, it ends the whole video. So for the life of me, I don't know why Facebook doesn't have software where you can talk, share screens, and have a bunch of people. You know, right now, if you're watching me on Facebook and I click a button, you can come on my screen like the Brady Bunch, and we can all talk to each other. And then I hit a button. When you talk, the screen comes up. When I talk, the screen comes up on me. And it's just called Zoom software. It's only $16 a month. That's with tax and everything. So if you'd like to do this business, don't think you're going to go bankrupt. And all the extra money you have, please go into like buying leads because you'll be satisfied if you have your autoresponder, like let's use Aware, A Aweber, they're one of the biggest. So you got 25 bucks for your autoresponder. You went ahead and got a domain name and made it private and with an email address. That's a one-time fee of 50 bucks. Once a year, you got to refresh that with GoDaddy, which is another, what, 25 bucks? That's a year down the road. So, and obviously they give you a deal if you want to, Go ahead and buy one or two or three years in advance. They'll make it even cheaper for you, obviously. But what I recommend, just take baby steps. That way you're not spending a ton of money and you're going to be all, you know, you're going to get confused. You're going to get frozen. You're going to get stuck. You're going to accidentally start thinking that this is multi-level marketing. It's not. You're going to think that you have to talk about what you have for sale. You don't. You don't have to talk about what we sell. Let the company do all that. All we specialize in is getting eyeballs to our website. In my case, like, you know, CoreyDraper.com. I have FreedomBabyYeah.com. I have over 91 websites actually out there that have all funny names, legit names, BigPlanetMarketing.com. I mean, you know, but it's up to you. If you got an extra 20 bucks, you know what? Go ahead and buy another fun domain name, you know? Uh, and it's up to you. If your name is Bob Smith, that's probably taken. But if you want to get a, a domain name that says work with Bob, work with Bob Smith, uh, you know, there's some great things that you can look at and I can give you suggestions and just go out there and type in on Google, just put in what is funny domain names or ideas or what, what if all the domain names I want are taken? There's all these great suggestions on YouTube for free, but go ahead and get yourself a domain name. Um, for 20 something bucks. And then when you join this company, you're just gonna take that domain name, you're gonna go and go daddy's back office, you're gonna go to a little blue dot that says DNS, and it's gonna say, where do you wanna forward? You know, when people come to your domain name, where do you want it to forward to automatically? You want it to forward to the digitalincomesystem.com forward slash four digit code that you're gonna get, or whatever they assign you, it's super easy. It took me like five minutes. I'm so lazy, I just called GoDaddy, and they do it for me. They get the domain name, they make it private, they get my, uh, my email address, and they, they do everything. I don't, and then I tell them on the DNS to forward it to this, and then they ask me about this, and what are you doing up late tonight, and so I, I don't even do it. I just tell GoDaddy to do it. Let them, work, let them earn their probably 20, 25 bucks an hour. So I love GoDaddy, I hope you guys too. I've never had a problem with them in 25 years, and I have websites that are mind-blowingly hard. I have live radio stations, servers, streaming, MP4, MP3. I mean, it's hard shit. And I'll tell you, GoDaddy's like high five, man. So I've had great success with GoDaddy. I hope you guys do too if you take my suggestion, okay? So anyway, digital income system, a review. This is a real look at what the system is. This is not some bullshit scam it's more of a tool and what i mean is if you go to your favorite let's say you go to home depot and you want to buy a screwdriver 
the screwdriver, it's a good brand. It might even be an average brand. It might be the best brand ever made. But when you go ahead and you have that screw loose, which is usually my head, but when you use that screwdriver and twist onto whatever, it tightens it. That screwdriver is a tool. Is it a fad? Is it a scam? No, it's a stupid, it's a, it's a darn, it's a darn screwdriver. It tightens what I needed to tighten and then I put it away. Yeah, but that screwdriver, that's a, oh man, that's a, that's a scam. Oh my God. But you should look at this other screwdriver. It's like, no, you know what? I spent five bucks for a screwdriver. My screws are not loose anymore. And thanks a lot, but you're desperate for money and you want me to buy your screwdriver so you can afford to come buy a screwdriver. That's how I think most of all the online reviews of anything negative are because I spend a lot of time on any shiny ball I buy online, like a business opportunity. It takes a good 30 days to really get down and dirty and buy some leads, get out there on Facebook or YouTube and really put your heart and soul into it. Because if you buy something for a grand or 500 bucks or even 50 bucks, you'd be a damn fool to just buy it and in one day you think you know all about it and stuff. No. Uh, if you, if you look into this company, it's a tool, it's a device on how to do certain things. And in this case, the goal of most people are they would love to make some money, especially at home if they want to, and you can do it without selling anything because the company does that. They require you to do the best you can to just get people either through Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, or good old fashioned buying postcards. You can tell a friend of a friend, that's old school way, of course. But what I recommend, and I'm brutally honest, sometimes it does take money to make money. But if you're lucky enough to have some extra money, work your ass off at whatever you're doing now. But my gosh, if you have an extra hundred bucks, please buy some solo ads. What are just, they're just leads. I hate the name solo ad. It makes it sound so much more confusing than it is. But go ahead and get 500, get a thousand people looking for what you have to offer and then get an autoresponder just pay, to spend 20 some odd bucks a month configure it with some really nice emails that we can help you with i don't mind the company has lots of suggestions okay and go ahead and let that autoresponder automatically email them and remember they requested your email and if they're tired of it and it's not for them anymore Right at the bottom, it says unsubscribe. I know all of us hate spam so effing bad. The first person that spams me, and I get it every day on my Facebook page, they pretend to be my friend. Then they have a something like, hey, would you like to make money online? I'm like, look, don't embarrass yourself. I'm 220 pounds. I would love to smack you right back to your dumb ass on the couch because I, you know, I got 25 years ahead of most people that are stupid enough to try to hawk their opportunity to somebody that just maybe just wants to have some cool friends on Facebook. So I don't recommend that ever to anyone. If that's the way you do business, I guarantee you probably have had a lot of failure and it hasn't worked and you've probably tried 30 business opportunities, okay? I suggest let people come to you and then you can humbly say, here's an opportunity to make money or here is some nice education. Thanks, man. I appreciate you coming and then walk away. Let the company sell. Let the person that came to you go to the company and let them shop. You don't want anyone telling you how to shop on Amazon. I'm going to buy a Lego set probably tonight. Do I want anyone saying, Corey, you don't need another Lego set? No, I love Legos. I know I don't need another one, but don't ever tell anyone how to buy something that they need. And like I said, there's courses that are 25,000 bucks. And you know what? If they want to go ahead and buy that education, then let them. And if you want to get half of that, just watch the video. You can see what to do. Buy a course. Buy a couple courses. It's totally up to your budget. But if there was a better way to make money online, I would do it. You wouldn't see me right now talking to you. Uh, if this video is five years ago um, or five years in the future, you know, but no, I'm, I'm recording this live right now. Let's see, it's uh, uh, September 26th, 2019. And right now it is 3.38. I can't timestamp this video anymore. I don't edit my videos uh, either. 
when you guys see all this stuff, I know that you can fast forward through all my bullshit because you just want to see the back office. I'm proud to show the back office of digital income systems. There is certain things on my screen that I can't show you because it's all of my, I have over 2000 people in that system right now. I'm not going to show their names and email addresses and, and it's not because I think you're going to come and steal them from me, but private, private is private, you know, and that's how it should be. So I'll go ahead and switch my screen. I'm going to show you behind the scenes just one more time real quick. And I appreciate you. If you guys are watching live, it's just kind of cool, man. If there's just one person out there, I kind of dig it. But see at the very bottom of the screen, if you click that solo ads, you can go ahead and get a really nice list of some really nice companies. And these tools right here, you know, we're going to help you out. And like I said, I just try to do a nice, calm review. And it's really not a review. You know, I, I obviously like it. That's why I belong to this company and I'm doing it. See right here off to the left, it says contacts. If I hit that, all the people, the 2000 people that are in my system, it shows them. And I don't want to click it because it's their privacy. If I had their permission, I'd show it to you. Okay, see where it says toolbox? Click toolbox. Now look at how cool this is. See where it says email blast? I have like 2,000 email addresses in there of people wanting me to send them stuff. All I do is click launch. I go ahead and just go, hey, this is Corey. You know what? It's Friday. I hope you guys are just doing well. I don't even want you to buy or I don't want nothing. I just want you guys to know. I just appreciate you guys just even emailing me, but just have a kick-ass weekend. Let's say I just want to email that. I hit launch. Okay, it opens up the screen. I can blast out all 2,000 people in what? Two seconds? Less than that. Now, see where it says email autoresponder? I'm circling it right there. It's the same thing, except I can load up some nice email addresses like this Friday, have a good weekend. Let's say on Saturday, I can put, hey guys, how you doing? Check this out. And then let's say on Sunday, hey man, The Walking Dead's on. I hope you guys like the finale, but if you guys would like to check this out, so what I can do is I can load up all these emails because I'm going, let's say, water skiing. So I can tell the autoresponder built in, it costs you nothing with this company. You know, go ahead and load up all three emails, tell it when to launch, you know, when to send them. And then when you get back from water skiing or wave runnering, I like wave runnering actually. But if I get back Sunday night, how cool is it that the company sent three emails and I did jack crap except have a badass time on a wave runner? that's built in for free by the way okay how cool see this right here the very top sms blast well let's just say all the people that want me to text them with their permission already i go ahead and hit launch i just say hey this is Corey. i'm gonna go wave runnering i'm gonna pretend i'm 25 even though i'm in my 50s but you guys have a badass friday i go ahead and i click it and you know what two thousand text messages go to two thousand cell phones where they've requested, you know, me, they've given me permission to go ahead and text them. How cool is that? Right below, the same thing as the, the email autoresponder. I can go ahead and put three different messages in there, or 50, and go ahead and tell the autoresponder when to text. So how cool is that? Because a lot of people are like, look, I'm gonna be straight up. I really wanna make extra money, but I'm gonna be honest. I love to have a life too. I have a beautiful family or you know what? I'm divorced and I have a guy taking me out or I'm a single guy and oh my God, the cheerleader academy or I mean, something or at the pool. I want to be honest. There's a pool party. I don't want to miss it. Don't bullshit yourself. Just be honest. And if you are going to take the weekend off, then you know what? Get your autoresponders. Go ahead with that list that you got. Go ahead and send them a nice message. You do not have to always blast out, hey, are you looking to make extra money? Well, boy, I got an opportunity for you. You know, last year I was broke, but now thanks to digital income systems, I've got the freedom to be the person I want to be. So if you'd like to click here, I think I can change your life. Best regards, Corey. And then a link. You don't have to do that. I hate that. I get the same bullshit all the time from people on autoresponders. I value when I get an email, and I'm not going to say who, but I have people that I've done business with since 2013. They've made around, my one friend's made five, four, five million. 
as of this year, my other friend has made 7 million. And if I put 50 people on camera with me right now, I guarantee the two that have made five to 8 million bucks in the last few years online, you couldn't tell who they were. They're that humble and genuine. And you know what their secret is to auto responding and emails and texting? They sure in the hell don't blast the same bullshit where you're begging someone in a humble way to like buy something, click a link. Oh, here's a link again. Here's another link to the same link that I sent you the link before. But, but you know what? If you're just feeling good and you're excited to go see the new movie, The Joker, coming out, I recommend sending an email that says, you know what, you guys? I hope you have a good weekend. I'm excited to see The Joker. And that's it. Just be their friend. Don't send out bullshit all the time about how you are going to story tell and then have a goddamn like, oh, bye, 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 bye. Because, I, you know, no matter what, you know, only so many people are going to actually join. So if I mail out to 2,000 people, can I make a lot of money if uh, 50 people join? Yeah, 50 times what, 500 bucks? That's, that's, that's doctor income. And you know where I've made all my successful incomes is just being genuine and not bullshit. Don't spam people. Don't think that you always have to be bait and switch where you pretend they're your friend. Then every email is about buy, buy, buy. Because all they're going to do is unsubscribe to your list and they're not even going to buy anyway. So I recommend, you know, being cool, man. Just be, you know, you don't have to have every single email about buying something by clicking the link nonchalantly, you know. All right, we'll see here on the, on the right, it says statistics. Um, I'm not going to launch that because it's private as well, but what it does is it breaks down your emails. And what's exciting is it shows you if the people have put their name in the auto, in the capture page, but it is also, it tells you if they've actually watched the 20 minute video and it, you know, it just gives a rating system of like, wow, not only have they contacted you, they filled out all three name, cell phone number, and email address. They've watched the video. And then it even lists if they've even contacted the company. And I mean, it is so badass. Because then if this person, let's say their name's Bob Smith, if they get a hold of you somehow, let's say through Facebook, you can look and go, oh my God, this guy has he's got passion and he's got the balls to follow through on all this stuff here. And if he just needs to talk to me one last time and go, hey Corey, you know what? You're the guy I saw talk about this. I just want you to know that everything looks really badass with the company. I've talked to the coach. I've looked at all this and it looks kind of stupid, simple. I understand it, but man, what do you think, man? And I go, I understand. I don't want you to lose money, but if it, if it takes him talking to me, that will, that, that'll give him the confidence to go ahead and join. I don't mind that at all. I got all day long. I will never be a guy that's so busy surfing and, and I just have to go to parties and, and Instagram how great I am. You know, if you need to get a hold of me for one last question, I, I don't mind at all. So please do so. But the statistics is awesome. You can see how much follow through that that person that you've never even met yet has taken action on. And that's kind of badass. But, the, you know, it's just this to st the statistics and the campaign tracking. Because you can send out one email and then send out another email. And you know what's cool? You can tell which email had better clicks where they actually did go ahead and click to the system to get the 20 minute video. So let's say you send out a uh, 2000, well, let's say you send out 10 emails to your list. Well, wonder if two of them are kicking ass and the other eight don't get many clicks. Well, how cool is it? The system's built in. You just go ahead and get rid of those eight. Just don't do the eight, get rid of them, write them better. Or you know what, be their friend, give them an email like it's your brother, your family, your aunt, your best buddy, maybe a worker where you work right now. But man, I, I know that most gurus will not recommend it, but I guarantee you, I have more friends and connections than people that have made millions. And maybe it's a downflaw of mine, but I'll tell you what, I think you'll feel good if you just send out some nice emails just as a friend and don't even you know blab about how great the opportunity is all the time. Um, and if they're your, and if they became Facebook friends, and they don't even buy something from you. I mean, that, God dang. Wonder if that friend owns like a, a hotel 
where you go skiing or something. I mean, God, the connections are mind blowing. I, I wish I could make more videos just about how fun it is socially doing this business. But that's a whole other thing. I know that this is basically what is direct or what is digital income system. And this is all it is, guys. It's a tool. It's not a scam. It's not like this shiny ball that, oh my God, look at this, man. That's bait and switch. Anyone that says digital incomes is full of shit and blah, blah, blah. I'd offer them, I'll tell you what, they don't know jack shit about this. They, they probably don't even know how to log in and how uh, the statistics page even runs. They're too busy bad mouth and everything so that you might go ahead and look at their shiny balls. And they probably don't even have balls because they got them cut off and they're, they're stuck up their bum holes. So um, all I can say is if you're watching this video of me just talking, uh, you know, you're probably like, you know what, it's, it's probably worth looking into. And that's all I want you guys to do anyway is, you know, you can go to CoreyDraper.com, FreedomBabyYad.com, check it out, relax, don't jump into something, just relax, talk it over with, you know, if you're married or talk it over with yourself, just look in the mirror and talk to yourself, I do all night long. <laughs> and you know what, if you want to go to the next level, I recommend calling the company because you're going to meet some badass people that work there. And if that gives you confidence, great. And if you're still not feeling you know kind of crazy go ahead and get a hold of me i'll make some time for you and then if you want to join i think you're going to be excited and like i say let's get on the train let's get ourselves a nice chicken dinner maybe a nice cold uh, iced tea and we're going to go from like let's say los angeles to new york so let's get on the train and then let's take a day or two and let's uh, get to know the system and and make you feel good so when we get to our final destination let's say in new york you know you, you got some badass education we can go see the beautiful one world trade center, you know? So um, it's very simple. The resources, you can see on the left of your screen, it says resources. Right here, there's education for $1,000, okay? If anybody buys this education course, I get 500 bucks of it. See the download sign right there? When I download this green little rectangle, the beauty about digital um, products, which is basically, you know, you're buying something online. You're not sending it in the mail. There's no UPS FedEx. There's no inventory in the garage. This company, you just buy some education and that's it. There is no reoccurring fee, like 50 bucks a month, 25 bucks a month. There's none of that. The only reoccurring fee is if you want to get your own autoresponder, which I recommend. And of course you need your own domain name and your email that's made private. And that's basically once a year. So you're gonna look at about 50 bucks a year, $25 a month for an autoresponder. Download this information, read it, memorize it. I think it'll help you. If you just want to know the products better, great. But you don't need to know anything about this course if you wanna make money with this company. Because all you're doing, you're buying leads, you're sending postcards, you're maybe doing some video like I do. I love doing Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and all that. I love it. But if you don't, don't worry about it. There's plenty of ways to get people to look into buying this education. You're not the teacher and you're not the seller of it. Okay, isn't that exciting? So don't, don't get confused. If you're watching this video now, you're like, well, God, I don't know how to get leads. And man, I don't even know what I'm selling. And it's like, you're not. You're going to be hanging out, man. You're not going to have to do any of that. You know. Just get excited when the company emails or texts you saying that somebody bought this and we're going to send you that. So that's a check. And then you go down to your bank and you deposit it. And guess what the hardest part is? You're responsible for your own taxes. So if you make, you know, five, 10 grand, don't be spending it all. Send a little bit. You know, you got to save a little bit for the tax man. That's the hardest part. I have one friend that has made so much money doing this type of system, which is online business, he has had to move out of the country where it had better tax a tax bracket. Isn't that exciting? I mean, I sure you don't want to move, but it's a, but believe me, it's a badass tropical island country. But that's what's exciting about this type of business. You really can do it in any country. Inflation, don't believe the bullshit. Please don't think because the Dow Jones index with uh, Alan Greenspan and, and, oh, wait a minute, the economy because the Democrats are fighting with the Republicans and the impeachment with, uh, with the uh, New York Stock Exchange doesn't match the 
don't worry about it. There's people that have nice, nice jobs. They can save some money. They might have a credit card. They, they're, they're going to work. They're working hard. They're watching badass movies. They have a nice backyard that has a lawn. I, I don't believe the bullshit. I'm so bummed out because the news is designed to scare the living poop out of you and make you think the earth is literally going to blow up if we don't like watch the news every night. So um, you guys are in the right direction anyway. If you guys are just watching me right now, I, I'm excited for you. And if you're new, I think that's almost advantageous because you don't have a lot of old dog tricks that I have that I had to kind of clean my brain of because I'm a product of, I'm from the 60s. I had a lot of fun in the 70s. Man, I was around when the 8-track tape went to album and then album went to cassette. And so I'll tell you what, you, you learn a lot of old school things. But what's kind of exciting, like I said, you know, an hour ago, it, you know, postcards. Man, if you want to send some postcards, if you have some ways to go in your city weekly or if you want to go ahead and just buy some Facebook ads, um, it's really exciting, I think, to buy just leads, solo ads. Go ahead and just buy, buy some people interested in what you have to sell. And then those people will click on your exact link. This, this system has built in autoresponder, built in email messages. It has live people that are coaches that work full-time for this company. And you know why they're going to do the best they can to humbly educate anyone that calls them? Their paycheck is 100% based on what you sell. If you don't sell anything, you know how much they make? Zero. You think they want to go to work all day and, and blow off the phones and not do a good job if somebody calls on your behalf? Because when someone calls them, it's keyed into your account. It's not a basic 1-800 number. And then, you know, the company talks to, you know, all these people and then they just assign because there is companies that do that. It's like first come, first serve. You're on a list, like a rotator, it's called. And that's where people actually call. And like if there's a thousand people in the company, the next person that calls the main number goes on, you know, number one, two, three. So that means there needs to be a thousand calls before you get maybe a share of that person that calls in. That, that's very common even today in businesses. But if, if you're interesting enough or if you've advertised properly where people go, you know what, I'm looking for this. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Boom. Once they click that, you're keyed in from phone calls, texts, emails, any type of education bot or any type of investment in the company on how to learn this or how to learn that, uh, whatever you're qualified for, because it's up to you on how much you want to make. Watch the video. You'll understand everything. There's no, there's no complicated monies or levels. It's this simple. If you want to make a thousand dollar commission, or let me phrase it differently. If you want to profit off that $1,000 course, you have to buy it. You buy it once. That's it. I recommend re looking at it, watch the videos, look at, read the PDFs. You don't have to. But if you want to make 50% of that $1,000 course, you have to buy it. How do you break even? Do you think you can find two people out there where one of the biggest searched phrases is how to make money. But if you go ahead and have some extra money and you buy leads of people that are already looking for how to make money or how to make money without sales, they're very motivated buyers. They really are. And when they come and check out the background in a smooth way, I'm not going to hype this video and make it five minutes where it's high energy and then it's all boom. And then at the end of the video, it doesn't go like this. Bam. And all of a sudden I'm in a Lamborghini going, bitches, life is good. I live, I live a laptop lifestyle. No, my video, I, I, I usually kind of go like this. Good luck to you. And I'll see you the next thousand videos. The reason why is I ain't going anywhere. Are all those gurus and hide at, hired actors that, that are trying to make money right now, where are they going? They're usually going to try to find another acting gig or another infomercial thing. or the guy that owns the company makes all the money for like, you know, six months to a year. And then the company disappears. See this company, you can actually use the marketing and all the education to go ahead and market another similar company to this. So for example, 
let's say I work at uh, Burger King. I can use these skills and I work at Burger King to also work at McDonald's and Wendy's and In-N-Out Burger and Five Guys. That's what I mean. Look at this company more as a tool because you can use the skills and a lot of badass information to go ahead and sell pizzas, to get information on how to buy a house in your favorite city and you want to look up realtors. And then you become a realtor and you need people to find you. I mean, God, I could go on and on about the possibilities of this company. That's why I love it so much. I do no sales, but yet I have badass shit for sale. Man, that's kind of cool, isn't it? I get 50%. I don't want another penny more where I make 51% or they do because it causes jealousy. How many times do you feel shit on when you get 10% out of a dollar like MLM? Oh my God, my shampoo is 14 bucks and you get a dollar of it each month. So you got to go find a thousand people to buy shampoo so you can make like 400 bucks a month. It's impossible. MLM, 99% of people drop out. The only people that make money are the ones that started in the beginning. They have enough downline to where they can afford to buy their own product. I should admit that, but I know it is for a fact because I have friends that do it. They have to buy their own product in order to go ahead and qualify to go 12 deep by this. But you know what? If it's legal and that's the way MLM works, okay, it's not me. I'm not going to fund my own self so I can pat myself on the back where I got to spend 4000 a month in order to make $4,500 in bonuses with the company. You know, it's just bullshit. You know, you made 500 bucks for the month, but you had to spend 45, 4,000. And I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, MLM is tough, not bad mouthing it. It's just not for me. And if it's not for you, I think that we can probably have a, a pretty good experience if you want to go ahead and, and uh, go ahead and, you know, it's digital income system. That's all it is. You're going to buy a badass tool and you can use it in other areas and other avenues. And when it comes down to if you're shy and you don't really know how to sell or you know how to market, good. It's better that you start from scratch, learn the right way in 2019, where I started in MLM, which I hate, back in 1986, because the most successful company in Utah is MLM. The ownership are dear friends of mine, and I still don't do it. And I kick myself in the ass that I probably didn't do it in 1988. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Woulda, coulda, huh? But I'll live my life like that. My blinders are straight ahead. So, all right. Well, anyway, I know this video is long. I know most people, they just fast forwarded to where I, my screen shows, you know, the, the mechanics, the secret curtain. What's digital income systems? Is it a scam? Is it bullshit? Well, is that screwdriver that you bought at Home Depot when it sits, you know, in your in your toolbox, is that a scam? Pretty sure not. I'm sure you can go get that tool and go ahead and tighten another screw pretty darn nice, even if it's the shittiest screwdriver ever made. So I think you guys get my point. I, I, I appreciate you big time if you watched this whole video. I really do because I know time is something we can never get back. I love doing videos that are more longer like this. Just makes me feel like, you know, maybe they're, they're more valuable that you trust me more in this business. Because I can do high speed videos, I can do all the production, I can do all that shit, but I've had more value and more, I, I don't know if I'd call it success, if I just do a video like how this one is, and then someone can fast forward it real quick and just go ahead and look and see if there's something they can tear apart. So they can go ahead and make a video about what a scam this company is. <laughs> if anything, just tell everyone, if you're, if you're one of those review guys that's gonna bad mouth this system, uh, just say the guy looks tired and he needs a haircut, okay? Cause you guys are all number one anyway. <laughs> so, all right. Well, um, have a great day. Um, where I'm at right now, this is live, obviously, if you're watching me on Facebook, but all my other friends in Europe, man, it's, uh, it's about, it's going on your afternoon. You guys have fun over there. All right. And then all my friends over in the Asian countries and stuff, I know it's your nighttime over there. Um, and in America, man, we're all just waking up, you know, we're just getting our crap together. New York's uh, usually the first up in Florida and then, you know, the sun rises to California. So, all right, well, you guys take care and I'll see you guys. Like I said, I ain't going anywhere. Uh, I got at least 5 million more videos to film before I'm uh, dust and bone. So, all right, take care. And everyone in Facebook, uh, if you watch me live, if there's one or 
a couple or five million, man. I, I appreciate seeing you guys. I know my chat room wasn't open when I was doing my live uh, seminar. It's kind of like you guys are just watching. I, I just, I put it live on Facebook to where you guys can kind of see what I do when I'm not on Facebook. <laughs> so, all right, take care, man. I've talked enough and uh, you guys have a good, um, you guys have a good day or night. You guys know where you're at. So take it easy. All right. Bye-bye.